up my sneakers, Ho Hoka Arahis. Maureen Lamy says when she went shopping for new Hoka running shoes, this site offered discounts. So she ordered a pair for the bargain price of $80. I thought it was a Hoka store. That was until she checked her bank account, where she says she found two debit card withdrawals. One was the price of the sneaker, and one was another price, but they both come from, they came from China. Two days later, the fraudsters made two more withdrawals, which she says totaled about $350. Lammy fell victim to a scam website, and this holiday season, there will be more. This happens to millions of people. Reed Fowler at Consumer Reports writes about digital security and scammers. So what are their new pitches this time around? It's great sales, rock bottom prices, and then, you know, getting people to go to a site that looks just like what you think is the actual site. Like that fake Hoka site Lammy visited, where our deeper dive showed some tip-offs, reviews that are actually for coats, not shoes, and an email for a supposed customer service site, which in online reviews, people called fake. Fowler showed us a delivery failure notification hoax. Look at the email here. Um, this is not a legitimate FedEx, FedEx. validator app dot Asia. Yeah, I mean, that, that's yeah. the biggest red flag ever. And this $25 gift card offer for iTunes says download all. Yeah, that's a very bad idea. Never click on attachments. Lammy got most of her money back, but she's still out eighty dollars. It's me. It's sneakers. I, 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 it's okay. I mean, but people, people like who maybe they're buying their kids their Christmas presents, and then they don't get them. I mean, that's even worse. So it's, it's, it's pretty pathetic. And instead of shoes, what showed up in the mail from China? A cheap knockoff Gucci scarf she never asked for. Anna Warner, CBS News, New York. Cybersecurity experts say scammers want your personal information like debit card numbers to access your bank account. They suggest using secure payment systems like Apple Pay, Venmo, or PayPal for purchases instead.